I brought all of you guys here today because, as you know, we've been going through some significant changes and um, the business is very important to me and I see a big um, opportunity for us. So because it's so important to me, I decided to bring in a consultant. And I brought in Lynn Carson. She's an expert from the baking industry. Um, she's a scientist. And I'd like to um, introduce you to Dr. Lynn. My name is Dr. Lynn, and I'm the CEO and founder of Bakerpedia. It's a free resource for technical commercial bakers like yourself. And if you need any answers to sourdough or flour questions, always head to bakerpedia.com to get your an questions answered. Um, so I'm here today at the request of Tony because I see something really special that Stone House can offer to the world. And um, because of that, you know, um, I want to help you guys get to be a commercial baker because I believe that commercial bakers significantly affect the communities that they work in. So I'm so glad to be on this journey with Stonehouse. Stonehouse has an incredible origin story and the way they make and bake their bread, the passion, it impresses me so much. There is a cult-like culture surrounding this bread. Everyone loves it because they care and they support the community that they sell in. Since 2015, the growth has been amazing. We started so many new accounts and we grew rapidly with Meyer and Kroger. And now we're even in Fort Wayne, Mishawaka, Indiana, and even Ohio. Over like eight to 10 years, the growth has been huge. Stonehouse has a very unique line of bread that have fermentation times that last over 15 hours. Oh, we have a huge list of different products from, from our rye bread to an Asiago cheese, uh, a cherry walnut and um, honey wheat. So some of the things that we do that make our breads different is like, for example, like our honey wheat, we source our honey from a local bee farmer. Our olives, we import them from Greece because we know that's where the best olives and olive oil are. We work directly with company in Greece that that is the best quality olives and olive oil available. We all have our favorites. My favorite's the ciabatta. Um, it makes great sandwiches. My favorite bread is probably our San Francisco sourdough. It's just so pungent and earthy and it's such a simple bread. There's not really much to it and it's just such a reliable bread. It looks really good when we bake it. I'm always impressed when that one comes out nice. I, I pair it. Like, I like our North Country, and I like our beer bread. Um, Sprout it. Those would be my three favorite. The best part, they use long fermentation to create their bread. This creates that delicious, rich, aromatic sourdough that you can barely find in this part of the country. From the rye bread to the sprouted range, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't decide which to eat next because you know, I love bread. I'm really excited about a lot of the things that Lynn has recommended to change at the bakery. They all made so much sense and I'm really so pumped that the people here are just so excited to be working with Dr. Lynn because of her technical experience that she was able to bring to Stonehouse. It is really just so nice for someone in her position to mentor me and give me the support that I really need. 
I feel like it's a huge weight off my shoulders. The thing about Tony is that I've never met another woman like me before. We are big thinkers and immediate doers. I said something to Tony about a change that needed to occur the other day, and next day you know it, less than 12 hours later, the task was completed, just like that. Tony knows how to hustle, or some of you may say, work hard. And I've always admired women who can hustle. That is the main reason why I agreed to work with them. Because of Tony, I'm on this journey with them to help them scale up. While a lot of commercial bakers are shying away from long fermentation times, Stonehouse is not afraid to run towards it because it's ingrained in their culture. This is how they do it. It's part of them. I have not seen any other bakery out there at this scale that really takes care of their product this way. Also, their ability to innovate with allergens impresses the heck out of me. Here is a baker that is not afraid of adding walnuts and Asiago cheese to their product mix. I'm so tired of walking down bread aisles and seeing segments after segments after segments of plain white or brown bread. My favorite Stonehouse bread is cherry walnut and they will blow people away with this product. One more thing. There is no sugar in any of their products. What does this mean? Well, it's great for diabetics, it's great for kids who need to consume less sugar, and it's great for calorie counters like me! ECD, the inventor of mole in-transit thermal profiling, is the home of affordable Bakewatch precision data acquisition instruments and innovative software dedicated to product quality and food safety for the achievement of high yield bakery profitability and FSMA food safety compliance. Add Breadometer for automatic S-curve analysis and master clean label ingredient recipes while optimizing crumb set for texture and long shelf life. Oven Balancer independently validates the lateral balance of oven zone temperatures and convective heat flow efficiency without bulky probes or the need for individual thermocouples. I walk into the facility and I see so many low hanging fruit for growth. They are also unfortunately hurting from this growth. So a lot of your breads are still hand formed. Yes. All of them. Yes. Most I mean the, I mean still a good portion of our stone house line is hand formed. Okay. Um anything that's put into a pan is run through a machine. Okay. And then we have like two two push breads that go in a machine. Got it. We struggle in, in Columbus right now just terribly. I mean, we had we had some stores in the last four weeks that did like a hundred and some dollars, you know. Like Chris said, certain stores they deliver to just only provide about a hundred dollars worth of sales per week. When I heard of that, I was like, "What? What's your shrink? Forty percent?" We we need to we need to get rid of some stinkers. We know where they are. All right. You have to stop that. Stop that right now. Their shrink is so high that it will run them out of business very soon. This is a major red flag to me. So for them to reduce the shrink, they have to keep the bread longer on the shelf. But they can't. They can't because their bread turns moldy real fast. This is partly due to their yeah, sanitation practices. That is the air filter. How often does it get changed, Amy? The filter underneath gets changed, I think, about once every one to two weeks. Um, it needs to be swept weekly, sometimes twice a week. This is the packaging room, so it needs to be somewhere like here when you change it out. This is a little too late. It needs to be changed out more frequently. On it, so we can put a hose here, mm -hmm. anything that we... No. Packaging room needs to be really dry. Okay. The packaging room should not have any kind of moisture or water close to it because water encourages microbial growth 
I am so happy to see there are no drains in here. That's really dry in here. Comes out into here to get cool. Okay, how, how is this room cooled? Air conditioning. Oh, nice. All right. That's not really seems to be working right now. <laughs> well, you know. After proofing, they will go in the oven. Yep, all of our pan breads go into here, our baguettes, dinner rolls. The dry goods department also uses these ovens as well. And what is your typical bake time? Um, anywhere, right now, depending on the bread, most of them are running about 40 plus minutes, 40 to 50 minutes. We have a few that run a little bit shorter, but they're all, everything that's in right now is 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Wow, that's long. Yep, our baguettes bake for about 27 minutes. Wow, our rolls, that's long. Yeah. Our rolls bake for, I want to say, 20. Okay. And who set those bake times? I mean, that's, I did, I guess. Um, we. We've adjusted them here and there over the time um, as we've had other concerns with them not being done or not being dark enough for the slicers. We've added time on to them. Um, and then as we get a new oven in, we always have to make some adjustments. Like this oven always seems to need more time than the other, other two ovens do. Okay, got it. All right, let's go mix. In addition to really reduce the shrink, they need to have a softer bread. And they can't do that right now because their bread does this. Beautiful grain. This bread is just three days old and it's completely stale. It has no resilience and it lacks any kind of spring. It's like dried out. Before I wanted them to put anything in the bread, I wanted them to try something out first. Thermal profiling. Go to bakerpedia.com thermal profiling page and you will learn more about this technique of baking. Typical arrivals are later at about 90% for sourdough breads like these. When Amy sent the pedometer through, she found out that her arrivals were really early at 65%. Yeah, 65%. After running the pedometer thermal profiles on a majority of the breads, Amy managed to bring that number closer up to 80%. That was like cutting 10 minutes off the oven. Remember, the oven is always the bottleneck to any commercial bakery. With 10 minutes taken off every skew, that meant that they can send the oven operator home early each day. Just imagine, this instrument would pay itself off within a few weeks. I'm currently working with Amy to calm her fears of not looking at the color of the bread, but the thermal profile as an indication of a good bake. This is going to take a while. Customers rely on VaporWatch and Minimole relative humidity sensors to ensure the proofer delivers consistent dough properties to the oven year-round. Supermold Gold 2, combined with BakeWatch Kill Step Calculator, is the leading solution for the post-bake critical control point hazards analysis and FDA Food Safety Modernization Act Compliance D-Reduction Report. Founded in Oregon in 1964, BakeWatch is relied upon by bakers, ingredient suppliers, and oven OEMs worldwide. Serious control with a BakeWatch mold.